Hey everybody, how's it going? It's 24 for Indy. It's awesome. Ready for uh, unprofessionality? I like it. <laughs> let me let me unmute you guys. There you go. Everybody say what's up. Hey. What's Hello. up? Hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> up with silence time. Well, we got exotics. We got Zen from Zen and Cyrene, and we got Damian Hi. Summer and Ryan Roth. Roth. Who yeah. made the yog and did the Ryan did the sound for the yog. So that's he did all thing. the sounds. Uh, Damian yeah, and also... Ryan are in a large room. They are at yes. a game jam on an iPad, so forgive any echo that might come for them. But, uh, you know, yeah. they made the game, so they're afforded some luxuries here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ryan's also worked on, like, uh, Star Sea Pilgrim, Electron Superjoy. Um, what else? What other things that people would know? So Soap and Buns in the PAX 10. Yeah, yeah that's kind of, yeah. yeah. You kind of worked on everything. Yeah. Everything. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see if I can't get some things going on here. This should be some music, and I need to know if the music is uh, loud or not. The wonderful music. So I'm sure. Should we be hearing this? Uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> nope, it's not loud. The mood Uganda say we should be pretending like you're a god, Damien, with all your echoing. <laughs> oh, wait, there it is, there it is. Ah, uh, there you go. Very godly music. weaver. Music is good. That's what I'm seeing. No, no, that might not be it. That might not be it. What are you? No, there's no music. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring this away. There we go. Now it should be all set up, I believe. All right. Well, if you've never seen the Yog before, um, somebody else can probably explain it better than I can. Probably the developer. Maybe, maybe I should, but I'm pretty shit at explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the Yogg's like a multiplayer choose your own adventure game. Um, so it, each player like takes turns and they have their own character and then they choose things that they want to do. Uh, and then there's this this thing called the Yogg that's coming in six weeks. And so until then you're kind of just doing things in the town waiting for the Yogg to happen, basically preparing your characters for the oncoming destruction. Um, yeah, I don't know, I probably like Stop <laughs> oh, there's, let me uh, let me change this. Let's put this on. Do not disturb, so we don't get a bunch of Skype notifications while we're streaming. Okay, good to go. All right. Well, we started up, and um, I I think I'll pick last since I'm going to be doing a lot of the reading. Um, so Can I be big who fat guy first. I want to be big fat guy. You want to be big fat guy? All right. Uh, should should we be the blue girl? Ryan, we're, we're going to be playing, like, together, I guess. All right. Our, oh, they're going to, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, sure, let's be the, yeah. The blue girl, yeah, so yeah. that's first. Uh, blue girl, and then Zen. Uh, I'll take the red lady, I suppose. All right. She's pretty Red awesome. lady, and I will be, as Yesik likes to refer to him, Ponce McPonserson. <laughs> but, like, a weird fact, um, when, when the game was first, like, being shown, everybody asked if that character was based on me. Uh, <laughs> you do look okay. similar to that character. Yeah, it's, it's the flippy hair. It, it is. Yeah, it's it's nice. flippy hair. That beaver cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And I like him. That's, that's like, my favorite character, so... Uh, it works out I think, I think just the red, the red girl is my favorite. She's pretty awesome. She does have that nice string. Yeah. So that's cool. Turn the game down. Oh god, I'm okay. blind. I can totally do that. Never seen that. What, the string? Yeah, I never noticed the string. It said your mic yeah. up. The what now? Your mic up too. My mic up. Okay. Yeah. I could do that. Boop boop. Audio issues. My um, favorite character is the green guy, actually. Yeah, I always choose the green guy. No one else is allowed. I see. Audio, I need to actually minimize the game for that. Let's bring it up to 33. Looks good. Okay. Uh, please excuse the random buzzing in the background. <laughs> Is that an airplane? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I get motorcycles. <laughs> Audio is a pain in the ass. That, but how about now? Uh, I've, I've messed with the things. Uh, my volume in, in comparison to the uh, call. 
How's that? Make sure everything's good before we, like, go. Sounds good. Awesome. Scumbag airplane. Right. Scumbag airplane, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The Yogg will be here in six weeks. And no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. And exotics would be up first, I believe. No, no, oh, wait, this no, is the blue I think girl. We're the, we're the yeah. blue girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hold on. So, um, where do you want to go, Ryan? Uh, let's go to the the forest. All right, we're going to the forest. forest. All right. What do you want to do? Do you want to chop wood or hunt? Oh, let's hunt. Let's hunt. These guys got all the secrets, by the way. They know. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> we're just picking random here. <laughs> you spend a week hunting various defenseless critters, you animal. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble on a dryad picking flowers in the field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, miss, would you care to dance, she asks. I've been wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. Would you love to dance or... Can you not dance? No, let's, let's dance with her. Let's dance, all right. She giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally step on her toes several times while dancing, you klutz. After the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. Yeah, you practice okay. dancing a little. You gain one finesse. Well. Well, <laughs> uh, step on a dryad's toes. Now it's yeah. exotics. All right, you know what I always do. I go to the gardens. The gardens. Oh. The gardens. Trying to get them seeds. Huh? Trying to get. I'm trying to get all the beans. Yogg right. first. What do you want to do? I of course want to landscape. Oh, of course, obviously. Yeah. You spend a week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth because you carved an elephant. One day, an old woman approaches you. <laughs> I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would well, you be interested in purchasing them? Yes. Of course you would. You're now broke. You spend one wealth on the beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the, part of the garden. And that's that. That's done. It's not over yet. Uh, who's the Looks red like chick? I'm up. It's me! You are the red chick. All right. I'm the red chick. I think I will go to the slums. Sweet. The scums. More. The scums, More. yes. <laughs> the scums is the name of the slums in this city. Would you, Don't would go you like near to, the scums. Would you like to pickpocket or fight crime? I'm a crime fighter. Let's fight All some right. crime. We will call you the Scarlet Dash. The Scarlet Scum Fighter. The Scarlet Scum Fighter. I like it. Yeah, you spend, there you go. <laughs> you spend the week good. outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One day while wandering the scums, you notice that the stones <laughs> used to line the road seem to have a certain pattern to them. You don't manage to figure out the mystery, but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the patterns on the tiles. You gain one mind. Mm, <laughs> well, uh... That means you're not smart enough. Hmm. No, I'm not smart enough not to decipher the thought process. Sorry. Let's see. What do I, I always go to the alchemy tower, and I'm really trying not to do that right now. I always go to the gardens. I can't help myself. I'll go to the hospital. Yeah. You know it's in the hospital? I know it's in the hospital. Let's clean up. <laughs> you spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it's as clean as it can be. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn one wealth. One day, while... Well, the maternity in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she oh, births is no ordinary baby, however. Its <laughs> skin is pitch black and shiny, and its eyes glow like an orange flame. It wrestles itself from the doctor's hands and tries to fly away. Stop that demon! yells the doctor. Ah. Uh, I am <laughs> pretty average here, so I guess I'll use the strength. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything would do You put yourself anything. between the demon and the exit. The baby barrels past you and out the door, flying off into the night sky. Uh-oh. And that's week one. They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. 
week two, and we are back with Damien and Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go to the tavern. Yeah, we got tavern. Yeah, yeah, tavern. Tavern, get drunk. Yep. I have a plan here. I'm trying for something. Okay. It's my birthday. Oh, like, actually, my birthday today. Is so, yeah, happy birthday. Oh, happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah. Are you trying to drink or bartend on your birthday? No, oh, drink. Yeah, totally. Drink. All right. <laughs> You spend the entire week getting wasted. <laughs> you gain two charm and one physique. That's my kind of birthday. One day while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. Do you want to go outside or stay in the bar? Uh, of course we want to go outside. All right, you got to see what the commotion's about. Yeah. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Kill the dryad, they chant in a sort of synchronized oh, oh, cacophony. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're running to the middle of town. Working your way through the mob, you find a dryad running away. I was just looking for someone to dance with, she sobs. <laughs> Fuck. I've never seen this before. <laughs> you, shout at the top, you shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. Your words fall on deaf ears. You see the dryad get set on fire and prodded with oh, pitchforks. No. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. My bad. Whoa. Um, you really don't like dark. dryads, do you? Nope. <laughs> All right. It's a little plant creature. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going back to check on my beans. Check on your beans. Is that some yeah. kind of euphemism? Um, no. I'm just gonna go check on my All beans. Right. <laughs> Landscape or meditate? Check on my beans. Landscape. Landscape. You made another elephant. This garden is going to be filled with elephants by the end of the... <laughs> really no, I'm just perfecting the... <laughs> you spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day while in the gardens, you notice a beanstalk. Do you want to eat it or water it? Uh, water it. I wonder if it'll grow out of your stomach if you eat it. It's probably I a thing. I don't want to try. <laughs> water it. It'll probably if kill plants me. could express emotions... It'd let you know how delighted it is to be watered. And that's yeah. that. Uh, Zen, you are Hi! Up. I'm so disappointed I couldn't decipher those tiles. I'm going to <laughs> go to the palace the and palace? do some bureaucratic work. All right. Get my mind up. Some administration work. Yeah, administration work. Maybe I can learn the mystery of the tiles. <laughs> I don't think so. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. I like how they just let anybody come do their, like, <laughs> administration. Know. Uh, well, this is a, it's a pretty like free like everybody's just like whatever like, <laughs> yeah. you who you want. oh you want to tend to the garden fine do it whatever you're paid two wealth and gain one mind I guess that's the best way to do it then you'd have a nicely maintained town unless everybody was really lazy I was going to say maybe nobody else wants to do it yeah one well, day the court jester approaches you sorry <laughs> would you like to learn how to juggle then he asks excitedly I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Uh, sure. I've got... Wait, he charges one, right? Yeah, I yes, can do that. One. I just got two. You spend the day with the jester, practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. You gain two finesse. You gain another two finesse. You happily mm. pay the jester for his services. But you lose one wealth. Money well spent. Indeed. Date with a jester. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go... I'll tend to patients this time, you know, since I'm, I want to be a doctor. I played Surgeon Simulator enough. You spend the week diagnosing and tending oh to the sick. You gain two mine and earn one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop talking, but to no avail. Try to decipher what he's saying? I'm a smart dude. Or I could sing with him. I don't really have that much charm. I guess I'll decipher what he's saying. You listen to the piano keys, but can't quite work out what he's saying. His sound gets progressing, progressively sadder and sadder. I fucked up. Yeah, another fun fact there, there used to be custom, like, like sound effects, like, explicitly for that event, where there was actually piano songs oh, playing. Nice. But they, they charred too much with the actual music that was playing. Uh, I can see uh. that. I can see that. Uh, is is it ever explained what the Yogg is? Nope. Uh, well, let's just wait until the end of, yeah, the, of yeah. this yeah. office. I mean, 
Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, I ruined it. Never mind. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, but the air went still. All right. We're back with Damien. Okay. Uh, let me think here. What's our uh, charm at? Uh, you, how do I check skills? Uh, is it uh, the, like over left or right? Yeah, yeah. Or on a controller? Yeah. Um, Your charm is at seven. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like, and your finesse is at an interesting path here, which is kind of <laughs> too meta, but uh, let's go to the forest again. The no forest way. again? Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Forest. Forest. And chop wood or hunt? Uh, let's uh, let's uh, hunt again. We chop. Hunt. No, we chop wood last time or we hunted? You hunted. We, we hunted yeah. last time, but let's keep, let's let's keep doing it. All right, we're right, we're right. min maxing here. Let's do it. <laughs> You spend the week hunting various defenseless creatures. You gain two finesse and you sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you hear a howl nearby, followed by the rustling of leaves. Okay. You want to run for it or stand and fight? Your physique is at okay. six, your finesse is at ten. We're fighting. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. fighting? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, 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 I like to say that the Yogg is a lot more fun if you if you're losing. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Oh, dear. You raise your weapon, ready to fight whatever's out there. A blur leaps onto you out from the bushes and knocks your weapon from your hands. The beast slashes open your chest. You black out. When you come to, your whole body feels warm, and the gash on your chest has disappeared. You lose three magic. You gain three physique. I like it. Uh oh. <laughs> I know what's happening. <laughs> What is happening? We got uh, exotics now. I am going to go see how my beans are doing. You and your beans, man. Actually, my beans yeah. stock by now, I think, right? Yeah. Landscape again, then? Yeah. All right. Yep. Checking your beans, doing some manscaping. <laughs> manscaping. Yes. Like <laughs> you gain one, one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you notice a glowing beanstalk in a corner of the garden. Ooh, when you get closer, you got really lucky everything flashes rough. white. Yeah, it really did. You, did. you knew what you were going to do and you went for it. The beanstalk transformed into a small what? gnome. Mm -hmm. The gnome thanks you for freeing him from the magical seeds. As a reward, he offers you a choice between the following. The blessing of the tangible and the blessing of the cerebral. Oh, uh, let me see my... S okay. You got eight physique, eight finesse, Let's... five mind. Can I check everybody else's stats too? Can't. Yes, you can. Uh, All if right. you want to look at them, they should be up right about now. Okay. Uh, I can't see yours, but um, what are yours? I can't see. What's your magic? What's your physique? That uh, overlays. Mine is um, uh, five and no six and five physique and, and magic respectively. Okay. I'm gonna go with the um tangible. Tangible. Okay. You gain three physique. You gain three finesse. You gain three wealth. You would go for the tangible, wouldn't you? Mm. <laughs> 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 exotics. Not exotics, Zen. Oh, it's my hi. Um, hi. I think I will pump up my mind and go to the alchemy tower. Pump up the volume, pump up the alchemy tower. All right, do you want to clean or brew? We're going to brew some potions. Oh, yeah. Delicious, delicious potions. What, are you, what is your, your, your finesse is at 10, your mind is at uh, eight. Just by the way, yeah. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. What is a cantrip oh, party? I think I googled it. Okay. We ask him every single okay. time. So, yeah, cantrips are like in D and D. Cantrips are essentially uh, like level zero spells. So like they're just stuff like I'm gonna cast light or I'm gonna oh, okay. I'm gonna like make a dove fly out of my arms or I whatever. See. Or out of my hands. So it's just parlor tricks essentially. Yeah, basically. Look, look what I could do. Yeah. Gotcha. There's a few ones that are useful, but mostly they're just like little tiny, like, like non, like not very powerful spells. I see. One alchemist waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. This probably would have explained it. Another yeah. spawns a seemingly <laughs> endless number of doves from his sleeves. Then all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up with. Oh God, my you magic. You want to do a simple sucks. or complex trick? Well, my, I cannot see my magic. What's Your magic, my magic is at seven. Hmm. I'm going to do a. 
Seven. Seven is such a hard number to, to pass. I'm going to do a simple trick. Seven is the best number. Simple trick. Yeah. By yeah, snapping not, your not fingers. Not for number of fingers. <laughs> By snapping your fingers, you change your eyebrow color. Damn, Zen. You're going, going yeah. hard on this one. That's the, uh, that's the ultimate can trick right there. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, one of the alchemists say. You gain one magic. Well, now you're just trying not to hurt your feelings, Zen. <laughs> <laughs> no, not bad. Let and then me... meanwhile... Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. If you want to no, I was, just, no, I was just going to make a stupid joke about <laughs> meanwhile, you know, the other guy just makes an elephant come out of the toilet or something. <laughs> God damn it. It's exotics is, um, is a leaf elephant. Yeah. I'm going to the doctor and I'm going to clean up. You spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital again. Gain one mind, one physique, and one wealth. One day a patient comes into the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. This, oh. Is new to, this is new to me. <laughs> While walking by his bedside, you he looks to you. Before, I have sorry. not. Um, I've oh, played. Oh. I've played only a few times, but it's always with four characters. Yeah. Um, while walking by his bedside, he looks at you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Uh... A tough one. <laughs> I know that it. Short. I know that if I get him water. If, if I get him water, I could possibly contract this horrible disease, but if I ignore him, since he rudely asked, he could get angry and be like, bitch, now you got this horrible disease. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get him water. You bring him a small glass of water to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swings it around, and then proceeds to spit at you. God damn it. <laughs> the water hits you right in the face. After cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. That night when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. <laughs> How oddly specific. You gain three magic. You lose three mind. Well, that, I guess that could have been better. <laughs> well, you're kind of just going insane. Little uh, let's go for magic. I like it. The, fun, the insane fun fact for people who only know, or are only on here, the update for this game will involve more things to do with having less mind. Mm, so, yeah. really? That's cool. <laughs> that sounded really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a pretty big update for him. Sweet. So it's gonna be a lot more to that. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. All right. Well, it is uh, Damien and Ryan again. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's go to the slums. The scum. You should change that in the next update. Just change it to the yes, slums. Yes. <laughs> Pickpocket and fight crime. Technically, you can change that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's true. You can change anything. True. Are we in the slums? We're in the slums. Yeah. Do you want to pickpocket or fight crime? Let's pickpocket. Let's just be the scummiest people we can. Man, Scumming what? in the scums. All right. <laughs> got a dryad killed, got attacked by a wolf, you know. <laughs> you spend the week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. Over the course of the next week, you notice that you've been slowly growing hair all over your body. You've also noticed yourself getting significantly stronger. You gain three physique. Your ability to control the supernatural is fading, however. You lose three mind. One day you feel searing pain course through your body as it contorts against your will. Uh -oh. Fur erupts from everywhere and your teeth turn jagged and sharp. You can hear the screaming of those around you, but all you can think of is how hungry you are. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up the next day in your bed, naked and coated in blood. <laughs> you take a look in the mirror and notice you're completely back to normal now. You feel like whatever... All of that was. It's all out of your system now. You well then. Sorry. <laughs> and now, and now the slums are all grayed out, right? The slums are yeah. inaccessible. Oh no! I can't beat the scum fighter anymore. No scum fighter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's exciting. I guess I should have ran that by you all. I'm going to see what my stock has for now, me. Now you know the, the scummiest. Check all my stocks. All right. The scummiest don't uh, don't run their plans through other people. Yeah. So. You're all right. Do you want to landscape or meditate? 
Uh, let's just land tape so you can check on my skull stocks. I thought you had the gnome already. Yeah, I thought you already saw it. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to make more elephants, man. Yeah. It's a compulsion. <laughs> I want to help that old guy with the sun. And they said I was going insane. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. Walking past a pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Oh, yeah. Please, sir, the, the frog begs. I'm not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. Kiss me with that mustache. If you could see way, your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. Do you want to tickle him with your mustache, or, or no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Let's, yeah? Let's do that, yeah. Let's tickle him a little bit. You bend Get down and kiss bit. the frog. You feel the curious stirring. The curse is trying to break. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be magical enough to get yeah, the job done. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. The frog thanks you for your efforts and hops off sadly. You wake Another up the next morning bad. in a bad case with a bad case of <laughs> lip warts. You choose. You lose one charm. Real quick, can I tell people how to enter the codes for the giveaways? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. okay, okay, so you go to the yog.com and then you um, buy the game. But when it says discount codes, you enter the code there, then you get the game for free. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, okay. So we'll and you'll get all the updates and stuff, and it'll be all there. So what yeah. was the interesting fact about the frog? You were going to say something, uh, The Danny? frog is, is an important person, or an interesting person. If you manage to revive him, something else can happen. Or, like, bring up the person. I've had that happen once. Yeah. It's, uh, some people don't even catch on to it, that it's the same person, but I, I tried to include some clues. Ah, I gotcha. Oh. Yeah. All right. Who is up next? Zen is up next. I think. Oh, my scums are gone. Yeah. Sorry. Um, can I? Can I have a look at my stats real quick? Yes. Uh, you have six physique, ten finesse, nine mind, five charm, eight magic, and one wealth. Okay, we're going to the arena. I don't think anyone's been the to the arena, arena yet. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. gonna do some fighting. You want to fight? All right. Yeah. We're going to smash a face or two. I'm taking out smash my anger. Fist or two. Yeah. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked out of their grasp. Knocked out of their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court, Judge Judy style. Uh, do you want to offer to settle or defend yourself? Oh God, I don't have much charm at all. Um, and I don't have much wealth at all either, right? No. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to defend myself. Defend yourself. Well, you do have the yeah. mind. Maybe that'll help. Yeah. You mind. object. <laughs> Objection! Objection! <laughs> Holding you responsible time, for a stray weapon is absurd. The judge agrees to dismiss the case. Oh, cool! You are awarded two wealth from the plaintiff for frivolous accusation. accusations. Blech. Excellent. That's so he get, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, know, I know I wrote this, but I'm just realizing. This guy gets his leg, like, destroyed. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then now he has to pay somebody. Yep. <laughs> yeah. For, for being a dick. And, and Some bad yeah. luck. <laughs> a leg. All right. Well, I th there's something that I want to happen in the hospital, but it's not happening. So I'm going to go back and clean up. Oh, I know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I can't you spend the week doing. stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making it, making sure it's as clean as it can be. You gain one mind, one physique, and one wealth. Over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more s spiral shaped. Oh, Sores man. all over your body. There you go. <laughs> hey, where'd you do this at? Oh no, the hospital. Okay. One day, the sores begin glowing a vibrant blue. Wow. You feel your magic power grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You gain three magic and lose three mind. Holy crap! <laughs> In no time, the sores are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you, asking you if you're all right. With only, only a glance, you set him aflame. And what cantrip party's for you? <laughs> <laughs> then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about, reveling in your destruction. This is in the hospital, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I am a magic zombie. You Reminds me out. of the scene of the Dark Knight. Joker's trying to blow it up. 
When you come to, you're at home in your bed. The sores have faded, and you feel like the disease's symptoms have passed. Oh no, I kind of wanted to be a crazy wizard forever. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Your punishment will be severe. <laughs> uh, Damien and Ryan. Yeah, uh, what do you want to do, Ryan? Uh, I'm, oh, I know what I want to do. But... What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you already know. I'm like, sorry. He, he, he knows the story like way better than me. <laughs> okay, so, so you choose then. Uh, yeah, but I want to do something interesting. How about, um... Exploit the game. <laughs> Alright, I want to go to the gardens. Gardens. Right. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> You're invading uh, my territory. exotics' turf here. Uh, what, <laughs> what era is the game set in? That's a good question. Oh, um, Medieval? So, it's random, generic, Victorian-esque fantasy. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. What are we doing in the garden? Oh, um, let's fucking meditate. I mean, let's meditate. <laughs> <laughs> fucking meditate. Yeah. Uh, you spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. Over the course of the week, you notice more and more people setting up camp in the gardens. They appear to be protesting the lack of support for rebuilding the slums that you destroyed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to join their cause and be a dick like that, or do you want to ignore them? Of course, I want the slums to I've be. I've never seen those. <laughs> this is cool. Whoever destroyed them is a dick. So, so yeah, join the cause. All right. For the rest of the week, you camp out in the park, singing songs, dancing, and making witty signs. You gain finesse, one finesse and one charm. And that's about it. Yeah. All right. Is it? You yeah. made witty signs. Yeah, we made witty signs and dance. This is a sign. <laughs> uh, okay. Exotic, you are up. I hate signs. Let me see them skills. All right, them skills. You have 12 physique, 12 finesse, 5 mind, 4 charm, and 5 magic, and 6 wealth. I... Ugh. You are the big um, burly lumberjack. Yeah, but so is Mr. Lady, Blue Lady. True. <laughs> True. Mr. Lady, Blue Lady. Mr. Lady, Blue Lady. Lady, Blue Lady. Okay, so I'm gonna go talk to some people in the palace. In the palace? Mm. Yeah. Alright, do you want to attend a ball, or do administrative work? Uh, I think I might just go a smooch it a little bit. Go smoogin? So you want to attend smooshin. a ball? Yeah. All right, you clean up pretty nicely, rosy cheeks and all. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace, they scream. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's great. Where was your mind at? Five. <laughs> There's a mass panic as people try to desperately escape the palace walls. Do you want to oh. locate and disarm the bomb or run away? Uh, <laughs> I've never seen this. Can I be strong and like, wait, I don't know what, I guess I would need mine to locate and disarm the bomb. Yeah. I would need finesse to run away. I guess run away. I'm going to be a coward, I guess. <laughs> so now we have three places destroyed in the city. <laughs> this is awful. No, wait. Yeah, three places. Wow. Uh, secret, the Yogg is us. No, yeah, just... right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Yogg by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> you get out just before the bomb goes. A huge explosion occurs, knocking you off your feet and completely wrecking the castle. Oh, God. Done and done. <laughs> and now, now it's Zen. What are you going to destroy? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a look at my stats again, please? Yes. Uh, let's see. You got the finesse. You are yeah, I got on your feet. Everyone's like physical. Yeah. In this one. Except for me, uh, I'm crazy and magical. <laughs> I'm going to go to the garden and meditate. Garden? Uh, you can't go to the garden actually. Oh, because, oh um, somebody's in there. Yeah. Sorry. Let me think. The palace Occupado. is done. I guess I'll go to the alchemy tower and alchemy do tower. some potions. Let's destroy this one now. Do you want to clean or brew? Brew. Brew them potions. Brew potions. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day an artificer stops by for a visit. She's adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. 
the alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. You get nothing! <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry. The, there'll be more to that in the update as well. That triggers more things, even if you don't get anything. All right, well, man, I am severely limited here. Uh, what am I going to do with my crazy-ass magical self? I'm going to go drink my week away. I murdered an entire hospital, but at least there's no more sick people in the, in the town. Half the places are gone. Right? Yeah. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying, and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Someone brings out a bomb. <laughs> Somebody brings out a... <laughs> me? I'm a walking bomb, uh, apparently. Alright, another fun fact. I'm just spoiling everything, but I'm not explaining <laughs> how it happens. But that, that event can destroy the tavern. Really? There. Huh. Wow. Okay. And it's not a dice roll or anything. Well, uh, let me flip specific. a coin and see what we got going on. <laughs> so um, let me ask you a question. Is it possible to destroy the whole town before the young? No. Um, oh, okay. It's, I, I put in a hard limit of like, it can't destroy more places than there are people who are in the game. Uh, okay. Because then it would be impossible to keep playing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, and it's super hard to do that regardless. But cool. yeah. We're making it look easy, so... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I actually, like, five. during testing, I was trying, I was really trying to break it, like, and just go, like, and try and destroy as much as I could, uh, but I couldn't. Like, I, I, there was, you, <laughs> you, know, just, you just need us. Should have had us playtest sure. it for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna break up the fight. Hopefully my magic will help me in this. I don't know. You jump on top of a table and yell at plea to the patrons to stop all the violence. The patrons ignore you and or they ignore you completely and continue attacking one another. You, you go to sleep that night thinking a little less of the human race. That's like every day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> every day, every time you log on Reddit. Uh, the Yog, it's almost here. Almost. Almost. I think I, upda I, I updated the game so we shouldn't get this screen twice again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the last time I made a video, I, I had it twice. Yeah, that was a weird error yeah. in filing the uh, things. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's uh, Damien and Ryan again, and we have uh, five places to visit. Are we on the last week? Yes, we are on week six. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've oh. got the Forest Arena, Alchemy Tower, Gardens, and Tavern. The arena or the Tavern? Oh, uh, uh, you want me to make the decision? Yeah, you make uh, Let's go to the arena. Okay. Arena, do you want to fight or bet? Uh, how much wealth do we have? You have... Where are you? You're the blue, you have three. Let's bet. Yeah, yeah, let's... Bet. And dice. Bet it, bet it. <laughs> you spend the week placing bets on your favorite fighters. You gain two wealth. While wandering Ooh. around the halls between matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. <laughs> An awkward exchange happens, in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming like you care too much. After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular fighters in the arena, butts into can't the this, conversation. Can't this happen when you're fighting, too? Yeah. Can it? I think so. I think so, yeah. Okay. yeah. I've never seen that happen when you're back. Hey, Kelly. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, we've got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's in time. You say an awkward <laughs> goodbye as, you walk off, as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? Extreme jealousy, feel... or do you feel yes. happy? Yeah, what do you want to feel? Alright. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the second is the happy. I feel happy. You feel happy? Feel no. good. No, you can, you can feel happy. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it's good that both of you have moved on. This encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. You gain one charm. Alright. Yeah. Not Take bad. More you feel good about yourself? I should have beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. You were in the arena after all. It's challenging. Alright. Alright. We don't need to we don't need to donate to a child's play anymore. You have to donate to this town. So <laughs> alright. Um I'll go to the Tower of Isengard over there. Tower of Isengard. You wanna go Alchemy to the Alchemy Tower? Tower? Yeah. Do you wanna brew or clean? Uh 
a clean. Clean? Yeah. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You paid one wealth for your labor and gained one physique and one mind. One day you hear cries from help coming from the next room. Running to investigate, you see that the alchemists have accidentally created an ooze monster. How do you dispatch the ooze? Punch it into punch submission. It right in we'll blast it yeah. with magic. You want to punch it? I'm going to tickle it with my, my, my hands. Tickle it with your mustache? <laughs> tickle it all over my mustache. <laughs> all right. Punch it in the face. You pummel the ooze until nothing but a puddle remains. How do you do that? <laughs> you can do physique. Well, like, if you punch jello enough, it kind of just yeah. loses You're right. It does it? You're right. <laughs> You're right, you're right. <laughs> the acid from the ooze sears into your skin. Wait. You lose one physique. Huh? You punched <laughs> Wait, it. what did I gain? You didn't gain anything. One physique. Did I not? You lost one physique. The you, alchemists you, apply I think cream. You gained some. No, I don't know. I didn't see a gain. <laughs> I might have. I might have. The developer doesn't even know what I gained. Let me see. I haven't, I haven't actually played this in I think, a while. I think you actually gained one physique. Maybe. So, it just balanced out? That was yeah, that's I essentially guess. what it did. Uh, the alchemists apply a cream that heals it, but your hand just doesn't feel the same anymore. If you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Zen. Oh dear. Oh, where is that to go now? Um, there hmm. is the forest, the gardens, and the tavern. Yeah, I guess I am Down your going... <laughs> I yeah, I'm going to go to the tavern. Tavern? All right. Yeah. You want a bartender drink? You're gonna drink. 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 drink your last week away. Yeah. You I mean... was a crime fighter. <laughs> what else did I do this week? I forgot. You destroyed a. Uh... What did you destroy? I didn't uh -huh. destroy anything. Oh, you didn't. You guys. Oh, yeah, that eventful you're, you're couple the, months. You're yeah. the best. You're the best guy. <laughs> you gain two charm and one physique. One day, a bard pulls his lute out in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decide to do something about it. Do you want to convince him to leave or challenge him to a loot duel? I'm going to challenge him to a loot duel. Just because? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because it's awesome. You borrow the bar owner's loot and challenge the bard to a musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination of... A, a, Arpeggios. Arpeggios. <laughs> the tavern roars with applause. Uh, the bard tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. What a... wow. Sore loser. What a klutz. No, uh, he dropped it. He, didn't he dropped it? Oh. I, I, I would assume that he would uh, throw it down. Nah. No. He, he bows so his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. Okay, he's just a sad loser then. Yeah. He wasn't good in the first place. Nah. <laughs> You gain one good finesse at the loot, or just bad singer? Ah, it's, it's like, it, it, you know, it, it, there's a, like an old 80s movie where it, it, like there's a scene where they're dueling guitars and then one of them like drops their guitar. That's basically what, oh, okay. what I, I based that on. <laughs> I Actually, I didn't even realize I based that on that until I thought about it just now. Uh, it looks I was like... thinking that it sounds like a really 80s movie thing, like yeah. a loot off. It's know? like, it, it's got like Steve, Steve Vai. Deliverance? Doing... It sounds like something like Pick a Destiny or something. It's, it's got it's got the kid from. Uh, we got Karate guesses in the chat. Deliverance, Crossroad. Yeah, Crossroad. That's Crossroad. It. All right. Yeah. Uh, it seems like chat's betting on you, Zen. Um, betting on me. Betting oh, on you okay. to win, to be to be the best of all. all of us. To win the yog. To win the yog. Is there even a thing? Competition now. Um, I will take all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the forest since I don't really have too many options and uh, uh, chop wood with my crazy self. What am I at now? I'm like magical as hell and I'm relegated to chopping wood. Um, <laughs> you gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day you stumble upon a corpse hanging from a tree. Carved into the tree is, it is written. Maybe somebody in the afterlight will appreciate my beautiful melodies. Oh I no! I haven't seen this one. I, you guys are all oh knowing, and it's making me really upset Wait, is this because the I don't know what's going on. No, it's it's, it's the dryad. The, it's the lutus, the one. Wait. With, uh, <gasps> oh <it's> no! <laughs> oh oh god, god, I just put that together. Oh, oh. Zen, <laughs> you made him kill himself. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. 
Underneath the tree lays a broken loot. I will bury him, because that's really fucking sad. <laughs> Whoa. But keep the loot for firewood, you know, it's, it's exactly. going to be useful something. You gotta keep yourself warm. You cut the corpse down from the tree and bury him in a shallow grave. Why is it gonna be shallow, man? I got all the time in the world. Six feet. Uh, that was a lot well, of work. Top you, fit that, huh? you gained one physique. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The storm arrives yeah. in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But in the end, but then it ends. Uh, we see the graveyard our home has become because of the players. Our home, does any <laughs> does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Now it's job picking time. Um, Damien and Ryan. Okay, do we, do we really want to tank it? Do we want a happy ending? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's can, do it right. Let's can do right. we get a happy right? ending okay. at this point? Like, is that... Sorry. Anything? Can we get a happy ending at this point with us having destroyed the town and all this? Well, it's, it's, it's destroyed, destroyed regardless, right? I think it's, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Um, what uh, what are our stats right now? I haven't heard of Your stats are uh, twelve physique, thirteen finesse, Whoa. Whoa. seven mind, nine charm, one magic, and five wealth. All right, so we got a lot. Of Sounds like we should be the conjurer. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> No, 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 don't take that. Don't take take that. It. Okay. I almost did. Okay. Oh, um, well, we can be a lot of things here. Yeah. Uh, let's, what, you know what, I'm not, I'm just going to pick blindly. Let's be the leader. The leader. Even though we don't have okay. the most strong, strong leader. Oh, okay. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're, you effectively delegate and prioritize tasks. You give a lot of pats on the back, rewarding everyone's hard work. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. <laughs> I don't like a that word. A lot. That's how you. That's how you're a good leader. Give him a pat on the back. Good job. Good job. Uh, so I have the the physical traits. Uh, you have. Yeah, you're basically the same as uh as Damien and Ryan. Fourteen yeah. physique, thirteen finesse, five mind, uh, and all that. I think I could smelt some things pretty well. You want to be a smelter with Maybe. your seven wealth? Yeah, Wait, you can. You is can that be... what you yeah. use to? S oh. Yeah, you melt well, down your your money. Okay, well then, what's the so builder is the only like physical trait? Maybe a well, looter or a town drunk. You can get really drunk and. I don't think the town drunk helps people. with anything unless it's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the builder, I guess. The builder. Yeah. All right. I think. It's I'm really reluctant. You can't go okay. back now. Oh, man. You take it upon yourself to help to rebuild the town by hand. You rebuild homes at breakneck speeds, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Yeah, I got significantly. He got a lot. Not yeah. sure which one's better. Uh, I think significantly. It's a larger word. It has more syllables <laughs> as well. <laughs> mm. So, Zen, what would you like to do for a living? Well, I got to be the tailor. Tailor? Yeah, yep, that job was tailor made for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, good one. Oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> funds. You volunteer to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. You make and mend clothes faster than anyone would have expected. Every survivor now has an excess number of scarves, socks, hats, and things to keep them warm. No pants, though. Uh, <laughs> this helps the survivor survival effort immensely. I think that's even better. That's a, that's a pretty big word right there. That's a big word. There's two Tickly, M's in mine's it. Mine's bigger. All right, well, I, I'm i actually not as crazy as I thought I was. I have four minds, so I'm kind of a dumb magician. More yeah. than yeah. an insane uh, magician. So I'm going to be the conjurer. Yeah. You take it upon yourself to conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon a large amount of supplies. With some effort, you're summoning... More than enough lumber and food for the town. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. So that's two a lots. Yeah. And now we come to the, uh... I find one of the, like, most enjoyable parts is finding out how everything yeah, ended yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was actually, honestly, that was added right at the very end. Oh, was <laughs> it really? That's kind of fitting. 
I guess. Yeah. It's a really good combo. <laughs> yeah. All right. And so we set about our tasks once more living our lives. This time in a way we might have never expected or even wanted. But in the end, we flourished. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Awesome. Towers once wrecked and ravaged rose towards the sky. Trees again took root, then blossomed. We all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yog ever return, we will be ready. Yeah, look at that nice yeah, picture. There you go. All right. I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Really? <laughs> You've never seen the good ending? No. Wow. Who, that goes who you been playing with? Uh, <laughs> Green <and> Company. <laughs> After the town is rebuilt, you go back to meditating in the park. This is Damien and Ryan. Oh, this is us? Yes. Oh, you oh, oh, I see. You spend weeks at at a time sitting in one spot trying to cross to another plane of existence what happened hmm. to you man we destroyed like half the <laughs> town ourselves so. yeah. <laughs> oh after years of attempts and self-sacrifice you finally managed to cross over to the astral realm you come to find that the astral realm is exactly like the normal world except everyone's eyes are slightly smaller <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how China? to get back home. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone just looks kind of weird. Man, that's, that's really nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and exotics. Hi. Hi. With the town rebuilt, you decide to celebrate on top of a roof. You organize a huge festival in honor of the bravery that helped save so many lives. The first one is so successful, you decide to make it an annual tradition. So wait, you were you were the leader and you left, Damien. And yeah. Exotics is now planning things for the city. And he yeah, was just the builder. builder. Yeah. Every year the festival gets bigger and more elaborate. And every year it costs more and more money to put on. You have to start charging admission and no one's happy about it. The annual festival slowly fades out of relevance and before long is canceled completely. You don't really know what to do with your life after all of that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all For all your efforts, you guys. Right? Then I find a loot. Oh god. Here it comes. Uh, here comes then. The Yogg traumatized you deeply. Oh boy. <laughs> Despite I everything like being so okay now, something in you snapped. You're the only one that didn't blow something up. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he saw some shit, though. <laughs> What? Maybe it was witnessing a baby flo floating face down in the water. Maybe it was bad. when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly, his eyes an empty void. Perhaps it was when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school and resorted to eating their rotten teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink so much, you're not entirely sure what's real and what's an illusion. You spend a lot of time at the bar? <laughs> just like just once. once. Once? What did it do this to you? It only takes one time, man. <laughs> one day you look into the mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. You need some humanity. <laughs> you right. uh, yeah. <laughs> I like how with that my picture is too so happy. <laughs> I know, right? And we're like birds? touching doves yeah. and stuff. That's that's partially intentional. The nice juxtaposition there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my turn. With the town rebuilt, you go to the hospital to retake your role as custodian. That's that's a really nice thing to look forward to. I worked through the rebuilding effort, and I was like, man, I really can't wait to go clean up vomit and shit. Best. Uh, your job I isn't glamorous. You <laughs> your job isn't glamorous, but you make it better by poking fun at the doctors with witty one-liners. Is this Scrubs now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they often have a clever retort to your <laughs> jokes. <laughs> and the back and forth is well paced and punchy. One day a patient who's also a playwright asks for oh, your God. permission to write a play about your life. Oh my God. You happily accept. The play becomes an instant hit and you become a celebrity for a brief moment in time. You still clean up blood and vomit for a living, however. I'd say that's successful. 
<laughs> a successful one. That's yeah. yeah, I like it. Most of the endings are pretty bittersweet. <laughs> All right, so before, uh, do we want to get questions from the chat for the developers? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Because I know people we've talked send... to uh, Damien and, and everybody a number of times. Yeah, we know everything about them. We know their life story. Yeah. So if anybody in the chat wants to ask them questions, we will relay them to the developers so they can read it themselves. I have not read chat in like an hour. Uh, it's not relevant. It. It's are, you calling, relevant. are you calling uh, chat? Not irrelevant. I, no, I, I, I'm saying they have a, a big imagination. I suppose. Are you on Steam? Why is the name the Yogg? Okay, uh, so wait, are you on Steam? That's the first one. We are on Steam Greenlight. Um, and that's a, that's, that's kind of a, a place where that's games get stuck. <laughs> There's a lot of things that happen. Yeah. <laughs> there. Um, do you yeah. have Humble? No, we're not on Humble. Okay. Um, I, I, Humble is a hassle if you live in Canada. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. you have to deal with the American taxes and stuff. Oh. Well, yeah, to, and yeah. you have to like have you have to pay just to get the money because it's being transferred transferred over. It's a it's a, it's a bit of a hassle. I know a few people on Humble who are Canadian and uh, they're dealing with it, but I don't I don't really want to deal with that. Stuff. I think I read something about that not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean like no, Humble is amazing. They've got an amazing store like front end and stuff, but, uh, and that's not even relevant to the questions that are going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, see so... the chat? Sorry? Can you see the chat? No, no, no okay. uh, we're, we're stuck uh, on this iPod, or iPad, I can't. Uh, okay, we'll relate. Yeah, I can, we can just uh, Oh, well, no, I don't want to, okay, not now. <laughs> why, <laughs> why the name the Yogg? Okay, yeah, so the, the Yogg, um, basically, I, 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 Emily, the artist, was like, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's come up with a name for this, like, thing that's going to destroy the town. And so, um, I was just like, okay, I wrote out, like, Ten words that were just kind of randomly made up, like mm -hmm. as mythical names, um, and the Yog is the one that stood out to her, and she picked it, and I thought it was good too. And then, turns out that's also a, a race in Mass Effect, mm -hmm. which uh, <laughs> it's like really rare or something like that. You said, well, yeah, it's, it's like uh, it's it's only it's only in uh, like one it's only mentioned in like one DLC, um, but like still, it's it's like damn it. <laughs> People, people are like, wait, is this like an expansion for Mass Effect that I don't know about? Just and... say yes and you'll get all the money. Yeah, the money. <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's like thousands of years in the future. All right. uh, why did you choose to have such dark endings? How many um, endings are there? There is like 50-ish. Um, wow. I don't remember the exact number. Uh, yeah, there's By like things you mean those little slates that you get after the yeah. first or whatever. Okay. Yeah, not not so much the uh, like. There's three different like. The town did good. The town did great, or the town just got fucked over. Um, <laughs> but... It says that word for word. Yeah, yeah. You can make it say <laughs> that word for word. Yeah. Um. But but as far as the endings, like yeah, there's 50 different like individual endings and they're 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 based on like a multitude of factors basically as you're playing it's basically putting like cards in your hand essentially mm -hmm. um and then you draw a random card from your hand and that becomes your ending uh but there's also like different things that will like remove cards or like add extra cards and stuff um, oh that's essentially how it works that's that's how most of the game works is it's uh it's got like a bunch of like like decks of cards and you're basically drawing a random one and then some things put cards and other things and some things remove cards so when will we see the yog the card game um <laughs> there is actually apparently a board game called arabian nights that does something similar cards against oh, really? um, the yog cards right? the yog <laughs> yeah uh, um, as, as, far, as far as the dark the dark name or the darkness uh that's just kind of my writing style i like to uh I, I like to write stuff that's just like shockingly horrible, um, and I also like to write stuff that's just like it, it's kind of nice or like really nice, and then just something is just off. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, that's just, just I, I, that's kind of my my humor. Like the the game is supposed to be, or at least to me, it's very humorous. Some people find it really emotional, but I I, I think it's hilarious. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I wrote it, but like, I still laugh at the yeah. jokes and stuff. You gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. Yeah. Let's 
see what other what's wrong okay. with you <laughs> that's one of the questions why <laughs> is the music this is a question for ryan i guess why is the music so nice uh, well <laughs> i didn't actually write uh well i i wrote about half of it i guess yeah. Um, so what I did was I worked with um, a musician uh, named Polina um, about four years ago. Uh, actually, it's funny that the music wasn't actually written for, I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, 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 know this. Um, the music wasn't written for the yacht originally. It was just something that we had done together like four years ago. Uh -huh. And so, you know, Damien asked me to do the sound for it for the AUG and I said, well, you know, this music would fit really, really well. And so I cut it up and I, you know, mastered it the best I could, cleaned it up the best I could. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's not. Yeah, you, you told us that before. And what's amazing is that it fits like the art and the atmosphere so perfectly, which is very strange. Like, did you like tailor the art and stuff around the music or? No, the music, really? it actually, yeah. uh, we actually had a different soundtrack for the game, but it was all like Creative Commons stuff, which you uh -huh. can't, and it was like a, a, it had a non, like you can't sell it for commercial stuff. It, I think. Yeah. I think what's the most interesting is that, yeah, the, the music, yeah, sure, it was it was composed many years ago, and you know, we put it to the to the Yogg, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I put it in the game, and people now associate that music with the Yogg, and I find yeah. that so interesting that like, you know, it has nothing to do with the Yogg, and it didn't originally have anything to do with it, but like, now when people hear yeah. Oceans, or they hear the, those tracks, they're like, immediately thinking about the Yogg, and that's, that's very cool. It, it, it's yeah. weird how that worked, yeah. yeah. Okay, and by the way, for the people saying that their microphones are subpar, they're at a game jam. On the left um, I'd say iPads, that's, it's so. actually pretty impressive quality for that. Sorry. And they're in the non-sport. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Should we get closer? Is this, is no, this yeah, I mean, you're, you're oh, that's fine. It's fine. Um, what was... Uh, what gave you the idea for the game? Or, if, like, inspiration to make it? Yeah, so... Um, we, I, we uh, Emily and I were basically asked to make a game for something called... Uh, Comics versus games, which paired together comic artists and game developers uh, to make like really nice looking, slightly different games. Uh, so, so Emily and I were tossing ideas back and forth as to what we could be doing. And at some point, she mentioned like maybe we should make like some sort of multiplayer choose your own adventure. But like I don't know how that would work. And then like instantly, I knew how that would work <laughs> uh, because because uh, and like it caught my eye instantly because there was a game called Dungeons of Fate. Um, that I played and I absolutely loved. It's, it still remains one of my favorite games. Um, and in Dungeons of Fate, you, it's very similar premise. Uh, you're like, the great evil is coming and you have to defeat it. Um, and you only have a limited t amount of time to prepare. Uh, and you're going around town doing different things. Um, Dungeons of Fate has like a combat mechanic and stuff in it as well. Uh, but like the the focus on the town isn't as like sp like as pinpoint and like there's not as much there. Um, so I was like, I want to do Dungeons of Fate, except like just completely expand on the town thing, and that's the whole game. Is like just because the town part of Dungeons of Fate was the absolute best part. Um, so that's what we did essentially. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and by the I, way, guys, when he's talking about Emily, he's talking about Emily Carroll. Who is yeah. a comic book artist that uh, did all the art for the Yog? Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe put links in there. <laughs> yeah, one of my one of my mods find Emily Carroll. Yeah, and, yeah, do that. She's a she's an amazing artist, um, and she's got yeah. She she's pretty popular in like the comic book. Oh world. yeah, it's it's it, like when I tell people about the Yog, the first thing I hear is like, oh, I love Emily Carroll's work. Yeah, like a lot of people know about her and. Mm -hmm. I guess I got Yogg some nice press. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely why the Yogg is getting a lot of attention is uh, because she's she's just so popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any chance of online multiplayer? Uh, we just kind of did it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's tons of like, we, we like me Vapid and um all of them. We did we did a lot of let's plays and stuff for the Yogg. Um. You just stream it or use like a program like TeamViewer or something, and it works perfectly. I mean, you don't really need to have someone right next to you, yeah. which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so online seems kind of, it would be like, just as really, if I had it built into the game, it would be really convoluted and like unnecessary almost. I don't think it would work yeah. as well as, um, especially like 
just like randoms that wouldn't work at all it's much yeah. better when you're actually talking to the people that you're with That's yeah if you're if you're not talking to the people you're with then it's absolutely pointless uh -huh. yeah. i like i, I like will the way say it works. you know from like a narration perspective you know you have <laughs> you have the streamer read everything and, and everybody else makes the choices so yep. i really like that yeah. I don't know if you meant it to do this, but the game almost feels intimate to a certain degree because, you know, if you're talking with friends or oh. trying to play through the game, friends, the music, you know, the the whole atmosphere of it. Uh, is that something you meant to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was designed to be a multiplayer game and basically a story that you can experience with your friends and have fun with. Um, it, was, it was made like so comics versus games is like just an art show essentially um and so people were playing it at that and walking away with really individual and interesting experiences like hey remember that time when i turned into a werewolf and like destroyed all this stuff and then other people would be like what i never even knew there were werewolves in the game like and so and so everybody had their own like personalized experiences um yeah so so and and like when you're playing it with people and like things are happening that are direct consequences of other things that have happened. Uh, it really, like, it, like remember when the loot player, we, we found him dead, like there was a lot of like, oh no, I remember when I did that thing. That was uh, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that was awesome. Though. Do you uh, want to, what's next and the Yogg 2? Uh, the Yogg 2 will not be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just because I, I don't like to stick and redo things. Uh, like Yogginate. Yeah, Yogginate yeah myself. I, I mean like Yog Two, Electric Yogaloo or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but but I don't I don't like to do that. Um, I like to jump around from project to project. So like I make games in a lot of different mediums. Um, like I have, I have board games and I have card games and I have physical games and and uh, video games as well. Um, so I'm working on a card game right now as well as a platformer, like a puzzle platformer, as well as uh, something that's kind of like Pokemon, but not really. Um, what else am I Lake type. On? I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot of things. Yeah. That is a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, the, the next game that I have that will be coming out is a game that's going to be a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, and I don't think I can say anything yet, but, like, you have to back a Kickstarter to get the game. At least for a long while, mm. it's got some exclusivity. Um, but but it's it's a it's basically a platformer, like a co-op platformer. I really I'm really into like multiplayer games and getting people to interact. Um, and every level you're getting like a new power up, and the power ups aren't actually power ups because there's no enemies. So and you're getting these like giant weapons. The only thing that hits or that there is to hit with these weapons is your friend. And these <laughs> these weapons aren't really like actually being activated by anything except by you like moving around or anything. So there's like a weapon called the front laser, and what it is is every time you hold right, a giant laser just explodes to the right of the screen. Oh, wow. um, and so you have to make sure, like the other player has to make sure he's not in your way when you're like when you're moving to the right. Um, and then there's other stuff, so like you, another person's laying down mines and then the other player is like shooting like bullets everywhere. And so you have to like, be undercover when you're out in the open and then yeah, so it gets confusing. And it's, uh, you definitely need communication involved. In that. Yeah, yeah. It basically I made, I made it so you have to talk with the other player, but there wasn't like a specific like, um, like talk to the other player moment. It was more like, okay, you have to do this and then I do this. And it's like, wait, no, what if I do this instead? Um, yeah, yeah. Like, I appreciate when games do that. Yeah. Um, one thing, uh, do you want to touch on the editing aspect of the Yogg at all? Uh, yeah, so the Yogg is like completely, almost too open. Um, like if you just open the files, like browse through the directories of the game, you can change the pictures, you can change, uh, you can't change the music, but you can change the pictures, you can change um, the text. Um, Actually, that's about it. <laughs> but that's most of the game, really. Um, and so, uh, like, if you just go into the text files, I know you vapid. Uh, there's there's mention of a love love potion at some point. Yeah. And yeah. Viagra. Yeah, you change that to Viagra. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and so, like, you can you can just do stuff like that. But you can also like just add incomplete storylines and stuff um, if you wanted to. And, and then, like, if you if you do some digging around in the in the text files you can probably like piece together exactly how i'm writing them it's not not especially complicated because i initially didn't write it 
could like write the software so that I could uh, write for it. It was actually so Emily could write the game. Uh, but then I realized, oh wait, she actually intends for me to write the game. <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, okay, well I have this system set up now. And like Emily never worked on a game before or anything, so I didn't want to like make anything super complicated. So anybody can figure it out. Um, and the update will probably come with a PDF uh, like inside if you dig through the folders that will have like instru explicit instructions on how to like tap into like certain things. Oh, cool. Also, yeah. also like the instructions for the game is like light candles around you and turn off lights off stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's the read me. Um, <laughs> and also like people can um, like all your friends and you can do like a like a certain storyline with all your friends you could probably just like save those certain documents and just ha like send them over to a friend and they can enter that too in their game stuff like that yeah yeah, yeah for sure so you can um, like almost have crowdsourced dlc and stuff mm -hmm. I would it's not it's not as plug and play as that but it's pretty close yeah yeah i mean they could probably find workarounds for it i would totally yeah. be down for downloading like custom yog stories yeah, that would be yeah, nice. Awesome. Yeah. Some kind of form for that or something. Yeah. Yeah. Phil yeah, says, so... "Shut up and take my money." By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is there yeah. anything else you want to touch on, Damien, um, or even Phil? Like, or uh, Phil, Ryan, Ross? Maybe you want. To... I don't know. Like, also, you can ask Ryan about like other stuff because he's uh he's done like Starsy Pilgrim and uh, what else? Electronic super drive. Well, this is a, well, this is really about the yacht. I know it's about the yacht, but we don't care. I haven't well, it's not really Star about Pilgrim the yacht. Yet. It's about uh, I haven't seen just about the it. developers, I think. Sorry. Sorry, what? What to who? <laughs> it's more about the developers. <laughs> yeah, it's more about the developers rather than the actual game itself. Um, um, well, I don't know. Like this week, um, <clears throat> this game just came out on Steam called. Electronic Superjoy that I did, I wrote some music for and also did the sound design for. Um, so I guess that's kind of cool. Like, yes. I don't know if anyone's heard of it, Electronic Superjoy. Yep. It, it's like a really brutal platform. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, I don't know. And then, like, Star Sea Pilgrim, too. Yeah, Star Sea Pilgrim. Everyone knows that. Well, not everyone. It, like, the thing, okay. Okay. I don't know who okay, knows yeah, what. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here. Okay, so like indie developers, um, you have to always assume that people don't know your games because most people in the world don't know your games. Even majority of gamers don't know your games. No, I know that's so. And like the indie developers, the biggest fight isn't against like triple A's or whatever. The biggest fight is against like just obscurity. And you don't want to. You want to try and get your game. Most people know your game because most people would probably like the games if. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, well, I did a game called Star Sea Pilgrim. I uh, did the sound design and music for Star Sea Pilgrim, and it was uh, IGF nominee in, for excellence in design. Yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we didn't win. I mean, FTL totally won, but. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to say this because I didn't work on Star Sea Pilgrim. Okay, all right. Um, okay. I don't think FTL should have won the. Uh, excellence in Shots design. fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, if you, if people don't know, the IGF is the Independent Games Festival. It's kind of like the, uh, I guess, the Sundance Film Festival of video games. Um, so like the more independent stuff gets honored and judged. Some of the best stuff too, even at the, even in the Sundance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so um, yeah. Uh, so Starsky Pilgrim and FTL were both in yeah. excellence in design. And honestly, I don't think I don't think FTL is that well of a design game. I think I thought, I thought it should have been Super Hexagon. I thought Super Hexagon was gonna win. And... No man, wait, was Spelunky in that year? No, no. Uh, I okay. think uh, I definitely think Starsky Pilgrim has more of an immersive uh, experience than FTL. Yeah, well, FTL is, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I played the game, I played the game for hours, like, I like it, but I mean, I don't know. Okay, 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 <laughs> here's, here's the thing with FTL, right? Um, it, FTL likes to brand itself as, like, somewhat of a roguelike. Um, the yeah. problem with uh, a roguelike like FTL is, uh, like, a roguelike can be judged, like, if the, how good its design is, a roguelike can be judged by how consistent a good player can win at the game. Um, FTL... There are situations that are just fucking impossible. Like, Definitely, and there's nothing yeah. you can do about it. Okay, I can't get past the first screen. 
the thing that makes FTL FTL like that makes the game interesting is the whole systems like the whole like yeah, being that's... able to micromanage your stuff like that like take out the roguelike stuff I know it's a roguelike but I'm just like that's what people like they like the whole idea that I'm like ah, I'm a captain of the ship and I'm like you know micromanaging all these little that's, systems like that's, that's what's cool, that's what there's still a huge flaw in the, this is discussions that we have all the time now, <laughs> but, like, that's, but like there's just like I still feel like that's a critical part of the game is if it's just impossible to win that's not fun uh, for people who are actually trying to be good at the game, right? Like, there's, there's ships that are just like, oh, well, I, I either, like, I have like a 30% chance of actually even surviving like two battles with this thing. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think FTL is definitely tailored to a certain type of gamer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but like, if you look at, if you look at another roguelike, like, like Spelunky, that was a lot of likes in a row, but uh, <laughs> if you look at Spelunky or if you look at even Binding of Isaac, Binding of Isaac is super random, but it's still completely possible every time you go through. Mm -hmm. uh, and same same thing goes with uh, Spelunky, right? Um, there's more skill involved, and there's skill involved in FTL, but there's it, there's a lot of like, I remember doing a run of FTL and I was like live tweeting it and people were really excited. And then it was like, yeah, I haven't gotten a weapon like offered to, upgrade my weapons in six sectors and I've like tried my best to like hit every single part that would allow me to get a new weapon. So I was going through like six sectors of the game with the, still the starting weapons and that was like just bullshit because... Well it's random. It's, it's, really it's random. random but there's there's ways like you can be like okay uh, at some point force a weapon. Like, yeah I guess so I guess stuff. that yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I agree with that. I agree. There's okay there are some flaws but I mean it's still... <laughs> Sorry, we just completely derailed here. <laughs> it's fine. I'm 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 uh, seeing new things. I I lost the blade already. Uh, did all kinds. Of stuff. I got headache. Never end us. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Just running through yeah. it another time while while things are going on. Yeah. Um, is there any other questions? Have we like started like some sort of crazy flame war? And uh, I don't. You kind of did a little bit, but um, let me scroll back up. I lost no. track of the chat and reset. Yeah, so. uh, okay. I'm getting a bunch of stupid Yogg 2 no. ones. Yogg 2. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Yogg 2, the second one. Hmm. That's I clever. like that one. Alright, uh, any... Okay, we did that. Any thoughts of putting voiceover work into the game? Um, no, because... Uh, the, the game is meant to be played like with multiple people, yeah, and so if there's voice work, then... That it just forces, or not forces, but like encourages people to just sit and listen to what's happening instead of like interacting with the text in their own terms. Yeah, and if you want the game to be like a gig, then yeah, put some voice acting. In. Yeah, the game would be huge <laughs> if we put voice acting. Yeah. Uh, you would have how to, you would have to pay them as well. Yeah. How did you begin your gaming career? Uh, like game making career. I don't. I, I. I guess so. That, that's. Yeah, I, I would assume, like so. because gaming a gaming career is a completely different thing. Um, but yeah, that's probably the thing. No, yeah, definitely a game making yeah. career. Um, so like I started when I was ten, just making random shit, and I'm now twenty three, and I still just make random shit. Uh, <laughs> I just kept making random stuff, um, and people started liking it <laughs> at some point. Uh, yeah. I mean, like that's it. Like just just do just do stuff. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know how to code very well. Um, what? But I'm still doing stuff. Uh, and how'd you make this game if you don't know how to code very well? Uh, I use a program called Multimedia Fusion, which is kind of like Game Maker. Um, so, like, and a lot of great games are made with Game Maker, and same goes for Multimedia Fusion. Um, it's like a point-and-click software mostly that you can go in and do some more advanced. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter how it's made. I mean, if you made a fantastic game. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I'm gonna drop some more codes for the Yug in the chat. So Welcome if back, Doxy. To, if people want to get Hello, that Mallory. stuff. Uh, I have just became the, the only two people in the town. It became the the looter in the town drunk. I like it. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah. So like, if you if you want it, like anybody in the chat or even anybody in the, in the Skype call right now, <laughs> if wants to make games, uh, seriously, just make them. There's so many tutorials online. Um, and like it's not hard to make a like a easy quick like breakout clone or something. And honestly, like the best way to start is just to like clone something you like and then start tweaking it mm -hmm. like to do something else until it's um, a little bit different. 
Yeah, until it's different, and then you make it your own. Uh, I am going to make the Yogg 2. And then you sell it. Yeah, yeah no, honestly, honestly, it wouldn't be that hard to make the Yogg 2 as, as far as like a programming standpoint goes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like go for it. Uh, there's, there's a game that I made like that you can look at like that is similar to the Yogg called uh, On a Scale from Zero to Space, this game is space. Um, yep. That's that's another game that's based on the Yogg's engine that I made. Uh, like really early on, it's really buggy, but like that's other stuff that you can do uh, with the similar concept. He also made a game to make you hate yourself called Contact Insensitive. Yeah, yeah. Con <laughs> Contact Insensitive, yeah. That's it's uh, the worst. Yeah, it's the so, worst and the best. I, I don't know, man. I have to try it, but when I watched you stream it, I was just, it was like, you need facepalm after facepalm. Like, okay, here, that's stop, is a multi just, just stop. Exotic. That is stop a multiplayer streaming. game, but you can't play that as, as one person. How many, I, how many buttons are there, Damien? Does it keep I going? I, I made this like two years ago now, but I think there's 16 buttons. Damn. It seems, it that seems many. like more, but yeah. I couldn't do it when I had six. Six buttons. <laughs> I, I screwed myself by accident, accidentally making down go going to the right. Yeah. So <laughs> ended up it's, playing Twister on my keyboard. Might like, as well start two weeks after that. that. Yeah. I I actually made that game in response to somebody like I, I used to just release a bunch of freeware all the time, um, and I made that game in response to people wanting me to make customized controls. Uh, for my games, so I'm like, here's a game where you customize your own controls as you play. You're such a cruel. <laughs> it's it's very cruel though. It's, it was it was just kind of a joke. So if anybody wants to check out Damien's other game, just go to damiensgames.com, I believe. Yes. yes. Okay. I'll leave that link in here. Yeah. If you go to theyog.com, it's also in the bottom there. Oh wow! I just got the Vyag, not the Yog. Oh, the, the Bieg? Bieg, yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to make a sequel, make it about make the Bieg. Make it the Bieg. <laughs> this, yeah. like this sounds like you're having like a seizure wage thing trying to say bag. Bieg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, I, that was just like, when I was writing that ending, I'm just like, what's another weird sounding word? And that, that was it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well. Doxy says, right. the music gives me goosebumps. It does it for a It really does. <laughs> I yeah. think that's one of the biggest compliments you can get. Thank you, thank you. That's really Definitely. nice. Well, you can go. Well, I'm sure. Well, I don't know if people know that you can buy the sound. Like I put a Bandcamp. Like the album is on my Bandcamp. So. Uh, could you link that to me? Then I'll link that to them. It's it's on the website actually. The oh, it's on the website. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It says it says, it says like summon the yog and then listen to the yog. All right. So can someone can one of my mods do that? Is there anything else you want to touch on before we wrap this up? Do you have any more questions for him? Uh, I don't... The chat's not even talking about anything anymore. <laughs> so, the chat's talking about the music. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah. Um... I, I don't know. I, I really I, like the music. Uh, I think... Uh, think alright, alright. Let, let, let me go on a soapbox rant again. <laughs> alright. <laughs> so, uh, I think... Touching back on the making games point. I think uh, everybody should be at least try it. Yeah, uh, well, okay, the, like, you know, Richard, like, Cart Life, right? Cart Life, yeah. Cart Life, and, like, he won all the IGF things, like, he... Everyone. You know, like, he comes up, and he's such a cool guy, or I don't know, he's super cool. And so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, he gets up, and, like, I don't know if you guys watched, like, the IGF, like, award show, but maybe you didn't. It's pretty know, awkward. But I it's, pretty, it's super awkward. <laughs> anyway, so he gets up, and, like, the last thing is what he says is he's, like, you know, he's like, the tools are there, the, the documentation's there, and he's like, replace me. Like, you, like, anybody can do this. Like, just pick up the tools and do it. And then he just, like, you know, drops the mic and takes <laughs> off. Like, yeah, he was awesome. completely drunk and hammered at that point. Oh, he was. But like, <laughs> yeah, but, like, it's totally, like... It's That's totally what Phil Fish like, should have did. In those words. Oh, yeah, for sure. Phil yeah. Fish would have did that. He would have become an idol. Phil also. Fish was a little bit... He, we, we talked to him right before, because like everyone was like, because Starseed Pilgrim looks like Fez a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And so like... Fez is somebody, basically Minecraft. Yeah, like somebody walked by our IGF booth like for Starseed Pilgrim, and they were like, oh, that's Fez, like, fuck Fez. <laughs> and like, 
I tweeted that, and then Phil Fish was like, ah, sorry, and then he talked to us, and he was like, he's like, sorry that you're getting my hate, you know, and he was, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, I, he's, I, he's I, a cool guy. Uh, yeah, I honestly feel for the guy. That's yeah. that's probably very hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sad to hear that he canceled Fez too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This isn't Fez cast. Best game. Best game. <laughs> I will say, I am looking forward to Richard Hofmeyer's, is that? His new game called Blood of the Autoland. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. What is that? Yeah, the guy who did Card Life is working on a new game called Blood of the Autoland. And it's okay. about food and our relationship to food. Oh, that's wow. the impression that I get. And to me, that's in incredibly interesting. I I'm think I saw your tweet that. about that. Yeah, it was supposed, I heard it was going to be out in May, but I think it's still working on it. Okay, mm. that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Make a Yog movie. Make a Yog <laughs> movie. This. That sure. doesn't make sense. Yog really. movie, yeah. Have Tom if we, if we get a choose your own adventure movie. movie. Kickstarter. Oh, I guess there's all like a YouTube like where you click the annotations to go and continue. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> I'm doing that. Thanks for the idea. You know, that's actually, it's not an original idea. I didn't just come up with it. Do you actually that. like those? Like, I'm sorry. Uh, they're, no, they're, okay, okay. okay. I, I know somebody who made a really awesome one. Okay, okay. maybe so I haven't. probably made that things. really cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we should probably get going because we're at a game jam and Ryan needs to do sound. Yeah, I haven't first. done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming out and talking about your games and talking about your um, your industry, I guess. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. No, great. thank you. Definitely. Yeah. Um, is, is, Donate is, to charity, to... guys. It's good. Are you serious? Yeah, charity is great. This is a charity stream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, no, I thought I was just uh, like randomly being super overly nice, but no, I was being relevant. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go jump off a bridge. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Behind. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, okay. Good luck with the game, Dan. Bye. Yeah. All right. Have fun with the stream. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Okay, and Vapid has uh, gone off of it. So. Me and Zen will bring you some tunes. I know oh, we had to some tunes. No, they they just left. Oh, yeah, they had to go. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Productive. Get this yeah. Because of my bladder. Oh, that's okay. fine. You came back just in time to <laughs> save us from humiliating ourselves. Are we yeah, just gonna I'm sing or something? To it's not no. good. <laughs> it's not sing. good. <laughs> not good at all. All right, let me exit out of the yog here and see if Poe. Is ready. I don't know if he's still in, if he's in the uh, chat. That is at seven, so you got thirty minutes. What? Do I? Well, yeah. yeah. What am I gonna do for thirty minutes? Mm -hmm. Um. Do you guys want to hang out for thirty minutes? Do you guys yeah. have time to hang out for thirty minutes? Do you want to? Uh, That's a busy man, Vapid. You can't just assume these things. Post says he is good to go now. If you want, uh, is oh. can, can I play Six Sided Sanctuary for an hour and a half? Um, we can hang out for a few minutes. I yeah, that might be a hard game to play wanna, for now. Should I? Uh, what, what do I have? What have I been playing lately? That's, I don't know. That's Splunky. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Do a daily run. It. It's gonna be real fucking. Uh, 